Uh, good afternoon. I am Dr. Ashraf Islam Khan uh, I, from ICDRB Bangladesh. I am going to talk on the cholera surveillance in Bangladesh. Oh, you know, the diarrheal disease is one, of, including the cholera, is one of the devastating diseases worldwide. <laughs> and cholera is an ancient disease in the Indian subcontinent, including Bangladesh. And several outbreaks spread from this region, and millions of uh, lives sacrifice uh, causes from this. Uh, our breaks. Um, here I am going to present some uh, scenario, uh, Bangladesh scenario. And uh, we know that in Bangladesh, diarrheal disease is number one, uh, one of the topmost disease for, hospitali uh, for hospitalization. And it's the cholera is highly underreported. And Bangladesh government uh, basically do not uh, report, officially report to WHO. Uh, and also there is a lack of surveillance and laboratory diagnostic capacity and uh, also due to fear and travel and uh, travel and trade embargoes uh, there is a surveillance uh, system at icd since 1979 this is the two person surveillance system uh, cases that those patients come to the only the icd derby dhaka hospital uh, in in bangladesh uh, almost 66 million population are at risk and the cholera incidence is 1.64 per thousand cases, and and all uh, cases and deaths are almost one more than one lakh and 3,000 deaths per year. Uh, our ICD DRB two percent surveillance system shows that around 20 percent of uh, all uh, AWT cases are culture confirmed cholera cases, and also. Uh, Bangladesh is one of the 20 countries targeting for cholera elimination as per the ending cholera a global roadmap for to 2030. Uh, as I mentioned that the cholera is one of the public health problems uh, uh, in uh, many parts of the world including Bangladesh. Uh, in Bangladesh uh, as I uh, mentioned that the, uh, there is no established cholera surveillance system uh, from the government side. Uh, uh, and the, in this context, uh, ICDRB uh, started a nationwide cholera surveillance system uh, with the uh, government of Bangladesh, part, uh, IEDCR, Institute of Epidemiology, Disease Control and Research, uh, since 2014, May. And this surveillance was, uh, for, uh, initially it was started 10 sites, uh, covering the, all the seven divisions of Bangladesh uh, then. And then uh, 2016, it extended 12 more uh, health facilities. And the initial objective was uh, to develop the laboratory-based surveillance to report the culture-confirmed uh, cholera cases. Also describe the comorbidity, identify the disease burden in Bangladesh, and also to develop and scaling up of the national surveillance system for cholera at different levels of uh, health facilities. Uh, like from upajala to district uh, level and tertiary levels. Uh, here the, this map shows the, all the 22 sites. Uh, these 22 sites basically covered the 21 districts. And here uh, the all different levels of health facilities covered, uh, like the six sub-district hospitals, 13 district hospitals, two tertiary level hospitals, and one institute. Uh, uh, so we, as per case definition, uh, three or more loose watery liquid stools within 24 hours, uh, this, or less than three loose or liquid stools causing the dehydration. Uh, it, we followed this case definition for the surveillance, and um, this group was uh, preferably try to uh, enroll two uh, f two patients from less than five and two patients from the uh, more than five years. So we usually uh, uh, collect five days a week, and each day four samples. Uh, so 20 samples uh, from uh, per week per site. And there was a surveillance team, uh, uh, one surveillance physician who is basically the government employee in the uh, in the facilities, one surveillance nurse, and a medical technologist. These three persons are from the government staff, and uh, one staff was uh, appointed from the. Uh, from this uh, study or from this uh, surveillance project this is the trained field attendant who help uh, overall coordination and uh, sample collection. 
Uh, from each side, we do the line listing for the uh, AWT cases uh, from the case register, from the indoor, outdoor, and what corner. And uh, we confirm uh, four cases per day as per case definition. Uh, to the inform consent, uh, do the CRF, and so collect the stool samples. And for the, we also do the rapid diagnostic test. And sample were transported twice a month. Uh, to the central lab, uh, this is the ICD Derby and IDCR, Dhaka. Uh, so far, we have uh, collected almost uh, more than 2 lakh uh, line listed uh, WT cases, uh, among them uh, uh, more than 26,000 WT patients were enrolled in the, in the study. And uh, overall, it was 6.2% uh, was uh, culture confirmed cholera positive cases. And uh, most of the samples were in Ava, but it is switched on the in Ava to Ogawa also. Uh, this slide shows the disease um, burden of the cholera in the uh, country. And uh, it uh, shows the lowest 1.1 to 18.3 percent in different sites and highest in the BITID. It is 18, uh, in Chirang division, it is 18.3 percent. And also the other, some other sites are like Narayan Ganj, Cox Bazar, and other have the uh, uh, higher burden. But the, uh, among the, uh, we had the seven division in 2014, but 2016 onwards, we had the uh, one division more, so eight division now. Uh, the other division like Silet, Rashay, Khulna, and Rangpur, they have the uh, lower burden of cholera, like 1.1 to 4.9. And the demographic distribution uh, that, that shows that the almost um, uh, cholera cases are below the five years of age, and 73 percent were more than 18 years of age, and 53 percent of the cholera cases were male. And the overall age uh, distribution of the cholera cases um, uh, matched that of the Bangladeshi population, more or less. And uh, we check the seasonality. And there is a biannual uh, uh, seasonality like pre monsoon and post monsoon uh, all over the year. Also, if we see the uh, northwest and southwest region, uh, there is a higher, uh, little bit higher cholera positivity during the post monsoon. And while the northeast and southeast region shows a, a bit uh, pre monsoon cholera peak. And this slide shows the, uh, uh, as I mentioned, that the Bangladesh government, they don't have the cholera surveillance. They usually reported the acute water AWT cases. The first one, uh, this slide shows the national acute water diarrhea surveillance from Bangladesh. Uh, this data from the Ministry of Health. And the middle one is AWT water case from the 22 sites. And combining these two one, uh, we implied the annual cholera incidence rate. We, uh, this analysis, we are closely working with the, uh, analyzing the endorsement with audience of this here. And uh, this slide shows the uh, cholera incidence rate in different geographical risk categories. Uh, if you consider the low, middle, uh, less than 0.5, just we, these, these are the preliminary estimates, and we have just uh, define the 0 0.5 for low, 0 0.5 to 1.5 for moderate, and uh, more than 1.5 uh, incidence uh, per thousand people is the high or incidence. So if we consider this information, we, we can see the 40, almost 14 percent of the population are at risk for high risk for cholera. Uh, so in summary, we can say the nationwide hospital-based surveillance showed the presence of cholera in all geographical regions in Bangladesh. And at least eight ge geographical areas where cholera burden was consistently higher over the reporting period uh, since 2014 to 2018. And Dhaka remains uh, as one of the high cholera burden area. Uh, uh, in the, as uh, we have the ICD DRB, so uh, in this 22 sites, it doesn't include the uh, ICD DRB site, but ICD DRB shows 2% around, 2% uh, surveillance shows around 20% of the cholera case all over the uh, each and every year almost. And the DGHS report show the diarrheal outbreaks all over the country. So surveillance may need to be uh, extended to those areas. And best long-term public health control strategy could be the comprehensive multi-sectoral approach. 
and also the national cholera control plan is uh, going to be finalizing and moving forward. And this project, we acknowledge the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and also the government of Bangladesh for their support. Thank you. Thank you. Um,